Oh man. I'm feeling really naked right now without my phone. You know when you don't have your phone, like, God forbid, like, something bad happens? So I left my black bag at home that has my phone and my tablet in it. So I couldn't, I couldn't even, like, verify. I couldn't even, like, uh, let you guys know that my internet was all fucked up. So I had to, like, and I'm not, like, technical at all. Bethany's the technical one. So... I had to like, and you never see me sitting here doing incense, I'm doing my healing incense. I really didn't mean for it to be this late. I'm, I'm feeling like literally kind of drained because it took me like 30 minutes to get it up and running. I was literally going to go home and get my tablet and do it on my tablet for you guys. But, and if nobody knows what the hell I'm talking about, <laughs> my internet was down when I got here and I had to get it up and running. So, um, I had to like mess around with that thing and put the passcode in and you know, it's like as big as this. And you have to, and you, there's like 50,000 numbers on there. And you're like, which number is it? This one or this one? Or wait a minute, is it this one? Anyways, we're here. It's kind of late. So hopefully you guys can stay awake for this. I'm a night owl, so... Uh, I had to put my oils on because I was feeling some anxiety. <sighs> Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. Because I, as soon as I got it on, I like literally, I jumped on here for you guys because I was like, okay, just jump on right now. Okay. Jillian and Whisper and RKS, please address any questions from anyone. I don't, I'm not addressing them. You guys, I do do readings. You guys, I had, I had a lot of likes already. What happened to all my likes? My likes were stolen. Please like this video, you guys. Um, I'm on my vacation right now, and every single day of my vacation, I've done a reading for you guys. Every single day. Um, this video will probably be probably about an hour and a half, to be honest with you, um, because I'm going to give you guys a lot of information, because once I start a reading, I'll just keep going. What just fell out? The Ten of Swords just fell out. Um, I wonder why it just fell out. When my cards fall out, it means something. Um, sorry guys, I'm not going to lie. I have, you, you, you guys, just one second. I've got to, by the way, if anybody's interested in oils, I think I already talked to you guys about this, but, um, um, my friend Stephanie made this for me. It's clarity with white angelica and higher unity. It literally calms me down within like maybe 15 seconds. I had like so much anxiety. I was like, oh my God, hurry up, get on there for them. Hurry, 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 hurry. Um, I'm diffusing back there. I'm a big oil person, you guys. The oils work. I'm already calming down right now. All right. So this reading is going to be on your ex. 
Oh, look at that. Just as I'm doing my cards, your ex, right? Your ex that you want to come back to you. Look at that. Six of cups. You guys, if you don't know who I am, whenever I touch my cards, I'm very connected to my cards. So I, I pop cards, by the way. I was reading, I was reading your, if you have bad anxiety, dude, you got to get hooked up with these young living oils. You got to get hooked up with them in the premium starter kit you get valor stress away and peace and calming those three oils right there whoa whoa um yeah anyways i'm going to be more involved with that channel when 2021 comes around um i forgot what i was going to say if you guys have never seen me do a reading before i pop cards I noticed a person said, I, I don't know how Emily pops cards. I pop cards. That's how the energy comes out. That's one of the things that I do. So I'm actually going to start with this. This is one of, this is, this is actually a really old deck. Um, it's not as old as my oldie. Look at the difference here. But it is old. And no, these are both Chur Churro Marchetti decks. I really like Churro Marchetti. Look at that. Look at that three of cups. God damn it. Fucking bitch. I do curse, so watch out. <clears throat> What do I need to see right now for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? <clears throat> involving the ex. Involving their ex. There's no time on this. Involving their ex. What do I need to see? <clears throat> the most dominant energy. What is it? The most dominant energy involving their ex right now. Put the card on the table. The most dominant energy. Five of Cups reversed with the King of Pentacles. Somebody wants to make right on this. They want to come out of this energy. They want to come out of this sadness. More information. If anybody, if anybody is like being disrespectful, fire the trigger. Five of cups, four of cups, two of pentacles reversed. Somebody's made a decision. Notice how we have the five of cups, then we have the four of cups. Okay, but what is this four of cups? More information. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their ex, their ex, current energy on their ex. This is the, now if you guys have like seven X's, pick the one that you King of Wands. So we had a King of Pentacles. Now we have a King of Wands. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So not really make this doesn't mean that they don't have any passion for you and they're they don't care and, and anything like that, but they're not. You're not making any movement, that's for sure. But they're here. We've got a king. So, so far we've got two kings that have showed themselves. A king of wands and a king of pentacles. More information. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their ex. What did I just say about a king? Now we've got a king of swords and we've got a queen of cups. Two, ki Three kings have showed themselves. Three a king of pentacles, and they're all upright. I can't make this energy up. There you guys are right there. Queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm going to pull that card out. And I'm going to clarify these cards. What's this five of cups reversed? Three kings. We saw three kings upright. The only king we didn't see was the king of cups. 
Now that's our water sign right there. Wonder why we didn't see him. He's your ex. He's not showing up yet. <clears throat> What's this five of cups reverse, please? Dominant energy, the most dominant, the most dominant. Five of cups reverse. The star with the ten of swords mm -hmm. reverse. Somebody wants to heal. They're not in denial about this anymore. They've come to terms with this. They know. They're not stupid. Divine timing. Fate. When should this really happen? When? Something on the star. When they can fucking give you something and offer love and be the emperor. Aries energy. I'm going to say this one time. I'm new. Is this a collective or just for water signs? Read the title of the reading. Read it. I'm just going to say that one time. I, I'm going to hold back. One thing about me, I'm an Aries. I'm a very straightforward person. I make readings known. I make everything known. Hierophant reversed. Page of cups. This is about a relationship. Of course it's about a relationship. It's always about love. Can they offer this? Not quite yet. They're your ex. But they're thinking about you. 94 people in here. 59, 59 thumbs up. You guys are getting it right now. What's this four of cups? What's this four of cups? Hi, priestess. They need to go with their intuition. They're thinking about their intuition. They're thinking about four of wands wanted to come out. The moon reverse wanted to come out. Card on the table, the most dominant, dominant energy. Jesus Christ. The ace of cups with the queen of wands reversed. What's this about? It's about love. It's your ex. Offering something. You want the truth? Keep watching Emily Halifax. She'll tell you what's up. Be careful watching all those horoscope readings for your nightly pillow talk. I do readings five days a week. Emily Halifax readings at gmail.com. You want a personal reading? I'll blow your mind. I own it. I'm a better reader than I am a magician. And I'm a damn good magician. Who's this queen of wands? Who is it? somebody they want stability with. Just because you're a Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio doesn't mean you can't come up as the Queen of Wands. That's okay. Somebody they want stability with. You got to make a decision. I'm not seeing that as a, th as a third party. You want to know why? Because we've got a King of Wands right here. You guys are in separation right now. I'm going to throw that card down. Who's this Queen of Wands reversed? I'm just getting started. We're at 13 minutes. I hope you guys have time. I'm going to give you guys a lot of information. Your head's going to be filled with it. You're going to be like, Jesus Christ. What do I do with all this information? I better take notes. Who's this Queen of Wands reversed? Making a decision with the Two of Wands. Do they go to the right or do they go to the left? They're probably scared to contact your ass. Oh my God, what do I say? If I go to the right, I say this. If I go to the left, I say this. Whew. What's this two of wands? Which way is this guy going to go with his stick? Three of cups reverse. Did that card really went? No, that, that, that wasn't the right energy, you guys. When I pop, that wasn't the right energy. Two of wands, please. Two of wands. Two of wands. What's this decision? Card on the table, the most dominant one. Five of swords with the eight of pentacles, the nine of swords reverse. Any anxiety that they had about this, they're starting to let it go. Great. 
contact my motherfucking ass. I've been waiting. Shit. I'm sick of waiting. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Are they going to have a victory here or is it going to be like it was last time? It takes two to tango. Two people can fuck up a relationship and two people can make it work. And you guys both know that. You going to work on it together? You think I don't have an ex too? You guys, I can relate to you. One person just thumbed down my video. Be careful. You don't want to be in here? Get the fuck out. Go watch the Candyland horoscope readings. Some Somebody show love. Somebody show love. Be careful. I'm going to tell you right now, if I keep getting disrespect, I'll stop this reading and I'll delete it. You're getting a badass reading right now. Guaranteed. You want to unsubscribe? Unsubscribe. I don't care. This choice is about whether or not they want to work on this because is it worth it if they come back? Are, are you going to be on the same team? Is there going to be a victory here? Will there be a victory? Or are they going to be the person laying down on the ground? And are they going to like, are you guys going to be partners? Are you going to be partners? But guess what? They're starting to lose anxiety about this. What's that nine of swords reversed? They've, they've made a decision. What's this nine of swords reversed? They might be sick of being single. Two of swords reversed. Are they single? What is this nine of pentacles? Two of swords came out again. Ace of pentacles, the most solid offering in the goddamn tarot. Watch out. Woo! Ace of pentacles. Well, if they don't like the truth, then they need to go to somebody else. Go to a Candyland reading. Go to one of those psychology readings where they tell you everything you want to hear. Your person will be back soon. Just wait. They're busy with work right now. They love you so much. Or you want to hear the truth. You want to hear what's up. You want to hear why? How, when, why? I'll tell you what's up. This is free. King of Swords. What is it? King of Swords. King of Swords. Why is this card here? King of Swords. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're X. King of Swords. King of Swords. King of Swords. The Fool reversed with the Sun card reversed. This person's not happy right now. They're thinking about taking a, taking a chance, but they're really not quite sure about this because the Fool reversed is like, eh, I don't know about this. They don't want to be foolish. They're probably not ready to do this. Full reverse, please. Full reverse, clarifying the King of Swords. Absolutely. 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 Do they want to? This is ultimate stability, the Ten of Pentacles. Do they want to offer you love and stability? This is a heavy ass weight on their back. They want to let it go. They want to let it go. But do they really want to do it? Because the fool reverse is taking, this is taking, so the fool, this is taking a chance. But the fool reversed, this is like, I don't know, man. And you want to know what? The king of swords, he's diplomatic. He thinks. He's not the king. The king of cups is like, I'm coming home. Roses. Let's be in love. The king of swords, he thinks. He thinks with his mind. He's tactful. He's diplomatic. Divine, I made you a moderator. Make me happy. M is dropping gems. M's telling you like it is. That's what. What's this king of wands? What's this king of wands? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the X, their X, the King of Wands. What is it? This is, this is, like I said, this is one of my, um, 
this person, I'm gonna tell you right now, this person is is thinking about coming back towards you guys. Or is this going away from you? No. No. We're thinking about it. Yeah. It's a victory. It's a slow victory. They're taking their time. Why are they taking their time? Yeah, justice with the seven of swords. <sighs> Man, I always wonder about that seven of swords. King of wands, please. King of wands. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Their ex. Okay, two of pentacles. <sighs> We've seen a lot of twos so far. Page of Pentacles reversed with the Knight of Swords. Okay. They don't want to make a quick decision on this. They don't want to make a quick decision. Page of Pentacles reversed. I usually see this as a disloyal person, but I'm not seeing that here. Two of Pentacles reversed, Page of Pentacles reversed. Sorry, excuse me. Two of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles reversed. Um, you want to know how I see this? Very clearly, very intuitively. They don't want to do this the same way they did it last time. Page of Pentacles can be about somebody who's learning something new. A student. Literally. So Page of Pentacles reversed. They're like, you know what? If I'm going to come back around, we better do this differently. Fools rush in. Knight of Swords. Give me one card on the page of pentacles reverse, please. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their X. Yeah. They don't want to make a foolish decision with the judgment card reversed. Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands reversed. They don't want to rush in too quickly. Brakes. Putting the brakes on. So somebody just said, I've been thinking about contacting him. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily the right thing to do. I mean, I'm, I'm not answering that in this reading, but. Queen of Cups. That's you guys. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Queen of Cups. What is this card, please? What is it? You know what? I'm actually, I'm going to put these back in, because I'm going to give them a chance to maybe come out again. What's this Queen of Cups card, please? Ten of Cups was showing itself. What is this Queen of Cups? Look at this. She's sitting here. She's, she's got her cup ready. She's got her cup. And it's funny because in some decks, like the... The Rider Wade and some decks, the um, the cup is closed uh, with the upright card. Come on, you guys. Are we playing Tetris or what? Hello. Which actually means that um, the reversed card is the card where she would be accepting love. Or he would be showing love. A lot of people don't know that. But in this deck, as you see, she has her cup open. What is this Queen of Cups, please, for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, regarding their ex? Clarifying cards, please. I put that fan on because I was feeling anxiety. I was, like, so freaked out. Okay, we've got the Strength card here in the Six of Cups. Somebody is still holding on to this. Could be Leo energy. They're, they're still holding on to this. What are they holding on to? Coming back to your ass. Absolutely. Queen of Cups and the, and the Six of Cups. Also, nostalgia. They're thinking about you. They didn't forget you. Oh, I haven't heard from them. They forgot about me. No. This is not over with the world reversed. It's 
not over. I have a feeling Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is going to be getting a good reading. I'm a Pisces. I'm, well, I'm an Aries born on the cusp of Pisces. More information, please, for this Queen of Cups, the Magician. The Magician and the Emperor. I'm going to tell you right now, I told you I saw that Ten of Cups. This person knows that their happiness is with you. You're in separation right now. Strength, the Magician and the Emperor. Woo, those are strong cards. They want to manifest this. But they want they want to make sure the emperor is the the emperor just like the empress. The emperor is all the kings put together. So before they're going to offer you love and fill your cup with it, they want to make sure that they're making the right decision. Okay? So They want to make sure that this Ten of Cups reversed is What's, what is this Ten of Cups reversed, please? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their X, the most dominant energy, please. Ten of Cups reversed. Absolutely. Do they want to come forward for this with the chariot? Absolutely. This is what this is what they're wondering. Do they want to fight for this? Do they want to fight for this? I've seen enough. Let's go to the X cards. 104 people in here. So far, you getting a Candyland reading? Are you hearing some shit that's resonating? I know you are. You don't have to tell me. I know you are. Interesting. So these are the types of questions. And I'm going to tell you right now, when I did Taurus Cap Virgo, it was really interesting. So the cards are, so for example, see this says, is this breakup permanent? And it says yes. So the way that these cards are, is it's the same question. And it says yes, no, or maybe. So here's the deal. If the same question comes out with yes, no, or maybe several times, what that tells me is that the energy is a little confused. So we'll clarify that card, okay? Um, I feel like we might see that. So let's get ready. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We're focusing on their X. I have four of these decks, you guys. I ordered these. They're brand new. And that's why they're not always cooperative. Look what fell on the floor. This I'm going to tell you right now, this means something. This totally means something. This totally means something. I'm putting it on the table. This means something. What did I just show you guys? I said, is this breakup permanent? Look at this. Look what fell on the floor. Is this breakup permanent? Maybe. I'm putting that shit right there. I'm telling you guys, my cards, they're synchronicity with my cards. My cards do not lie. They do not lie. Come on. Jesus. Okay. So if you guys don't know me, I do. I've been going to the hand chiropractor. I'm still getting strength back in my hands, but I'm okay. I'm doing okay. The Honestly, these, these cards are slick. It's not really so much me having power. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Put, yeah, see, that's, that's the cards. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, show me the most dominant cards, please, right now regarding their X. Put the card on the table. Are they still thinking about me? Maybe. I'm going to I'm going to refrain from reading the cards at the bottom of the deck cuz I think it might get confusing. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their X, please. One card at a time on the table. I'm going to draw nine cards.
Interesting. I'm going to tell you right now, this is already a completely different. This is a completely different energy from the earth signs. Are we a vibrational match? No. Now, here's another thing I want you guys to know. When I clarify these cards, and no, I'm not going to clarify all nine of them. We'll choose the ones we're going to clarify. I'll probably clarify three of them. Three of them per deck. And there's four of them. So I'm going to clarify 12 cards. This card may not clarify the way that it reads. What does that mean? It means it may clarify that, yes, you are a vibrational match. Do you understand? That's why I clarify cards. I'm going to just show you this. Do they miss me? Yes. I see Cancer Scorpio, their X, please, the most dominant energy. If some of some of the chat, some of the chats that I'm seeing, I'm just kind of like, what WTF? Are they worthy of my love? Yes. Another one that I didn't get for Taurus Cap Virgo. Interesting. Interesting. Another one, I'm telling you, this energy is totally different. Will our paths, I might have got this for them. I'm just, I'm just noticing the different energy. Will our paths cross, ever cross again in this lifetime? Maybe. Okay, I'm going to show you this one. Is it in my is it in my highest and best to just move on? No. Okay, this is really interesting. So, we've got 6 cards and half of them are maybes. Do they still want me in their life? Maybe. Jesus Christ. Is this breakup permanent? No. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pull that card. All right, this energy is starting to get heavy because I'm feeling it. Two more cards, please. Two more, the most dominant, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, I really want it on the table, please. On the table, on the table, please. Oh, shit. Okay. Are they involved with someone else? No. I'm going to clarify that card. I'm going to show you this one too. Do they want to get back together? Maybe. Wow, man. One, two, three, four, five maybes. One yes and three no's. Wow. One more card, please. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their X. Oh, God. Okay, see? Okay. Is this a karmic relationship? No. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to pull this one out. And the reason is, is because it says, is this relationship permanent? And it says maybe. And then it says, is this relationship permanent? And it says yes. So I'm going to clarify that. So, whoo! Um, okay, shit. <laughs> I, I want to clarify this one too. Okay, you want to, oh man, wow, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you guys are killing me because you know what? You guys got some really interesting cards. I want to clarify this too because do they still want me in their life? Maybe, and this says yes. Okay, I'm, I'm having a hard time of what I want to clarify here. All right, I'm not going to clarify this. I'm not going to clarify this because this is already going to be answered. I'm not going to clarify this. I'm not going to clarify this. I'm not going to clarify this. Oh, fuck. I just realized you guys got every single one for is this, relate, is this breakup permanent? You guys got no... Okay, so you got no. Okay. 
You got no, maybe, and then at the bottom of the deck was yes. That's interesting. I'm going to clarify that. Okay. So this is what I'm going to clarify. I'm going to clarify, is this, is this breakup permanent? I'm going to clarify, are they involved with someone else? And I'm going to clarify, do they still want me in their life? Because you guys got maybe and yes. Okay. These are some really, you guys are killing me. These are really interesting ones. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is, ugh, this is really heavy energy. Okay. Don't laugh, you guys. Don't laugh. D Dylan's going to understand. Is Tanya in here? Okay. I, you guys, I have to put some oils on. <laughs> I have to put some oils on. You guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. I I'm serious. I'm, I'm, this is like really, really heavy energy. And, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling it. And I, I have to put some, I'm very empathic. Sorry, I need a little oil break. I have to put some oils on. I'm putting Valor on the bottom of my feet because I'm feeling like really, this energy is a little bit overwhelming. Your, your person is, um, I don't know. This is just an overwhelming energy. So when I do, when I do regular readings, I have to take like a, I have to take a minute in between them because it's, it's, it's really overwhelming for me. Um, <laughs> you guys are like, she's rubbing oil. Yep. I'm rubbing oils on my feet. Laugh if you want. Laugh, laugh all you want. Um, this helps me to stay grounded. I'm very, very empathic. So I'm, I'm totally picking up on this person. So I'll tell you right now, just from the cards that we picked up on the original, on the original, uh, polls, I feel like this person definitely, um, Definitely still has feelings for you, without a doubt, like 100%. So the what I'm going to clarify, I feel like it's going to be um, positive. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You guys are probably like, what the hell? Yes, yes. I, I put a lot of oils on. Okay. I'll see you guys. Um. <sighs> one second, you guys. One second. <clears throat> all right all right what deck am i going to use to clarify all right let's use no let's use this deck all right are they involved with someone else no okay so i'm gonna tell you guys right now this is a collective reading so you know Okay, Daddy Warbucks, yeah, he's made a couple of weird, yeah, yeah, we might need to get him out of here. Um, so, is every single Pisces Scorpio, is it going to be the, you know, the answer for this? If you guys do a, Dylan's so funny, he's like, pow, pow, pow. Um, if you guys do a personal reading with me. The answer might be different. Just take, just heed what I just said, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
Looking for truth and clarity only, please. Truth and clarity only. Is there ex involved with someone else right now? Is there ex involved with someone else right now, please? This says no. Three of Cups reversed. Is there a, is there an ex involved with someone else right now? King of Cups. There's your person right there. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Can't make this up. Okay, the Six of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. I'm going to... I'm going to draw six cards, you guys. Okay, so we've got the three. We've got three two times reversed. Uh. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, bitch. Who's this Queen of Pentacles? Is this Queen of Pentacles someone they're involved with? Is this Queen of Pentacles someone they're involved with? Three of Wands reversed. Judgment reversed. Is this Queen of Pentacles someone they're involved with? Two of Pentacles reversed. One more card, the Emperor Reverse. Okay, this, all right, this may be somebody that they moved away from. Yes or no, does this relationship still stand? Yes or no? Yes or no? Does this relationship still stand? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Does this relationship still stand? No. No. I'm not seeing it. Very clear-cut energy. Does this relationship still stand? Eight of Wands going in another direction. Does this relationship still stand? You guys, when I did your reading, did I pick up on a third party? The moon reverse. Did I pick up on a third party when I did your um when I did your when I did your um page of cups reverse wanted to come out? Does does this relationship still stand? Does this relationship still stand? Four of Swords reversed. Five of Wands wants to come out again. I don't think so, you guys. Three of Cups reversed, please. Three of Cups reversed. Three of Cups reversed. Three of Cups reversed. I don't think so. No. King of Pentacles reverse, not offering anything, letting the not, I don't believe so. I do not believe so. Who's being disrespectful? Get the fuck out of here. I do not believe so, you guys. I really don't. I really don't. Yeah, I just cut the card. The hangman reverse. It's like somebody. So if if they are involved with someone, if they are involved with someone. If they are involved with someone, so let's look at that. If Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is involved with someone. So if it's showing me no, you want to know what that means? What elements or sign is she? Can anybody read? Can anybody read? Yeah, see, look at this. 
If Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is involved with someone right now, show me where this relationship is going, please. Diana. If Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is involved with someone right now, show me where this relationship is going. Four of Swords, the Empress reversed. I don't have to say anything else. The Ace of Cups reversed and the Ten of Swords going mother going motherfucking nowhere is where it's going. Trust Emily. Now, if you come, if you come, this person, this person's just hanging out. They don't give a fuck. Okay. Sorry for the cursing, but I'm just putting, I'm just putting some uh some uh exclamation points here. This is coming to an end. Trust. Trust me. Need a snack? Go get one. The devil reverse. Yeah, letting go of this unhealthy. Yeah. The, yeah, letting go of this burden. The Ace of Wands, this is something brand new. This is something new. This is new, 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 new. The Hermit, they've been thinking about this. You want to know what this is right down here? You want to know what this is down here? This Two of Cups? This ain't them. This ain't them. I already saw the Ten of Swords. Let's keep moving. Is this relationship... Is this is this break is this <laughs> is this breakup permanent? Yes, no, or maybe. So I'm just gonna ask if this breakup is permanent. I'm gonna ask if it's permanent. This is so funny. Dylan and Whisper, when people say things like that, ask him why it's funny. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. I'm not that innocent. Oops, I did it again. Played with my heart. Got lost in the game. Oh, baby, baby. We don't play on this channel. This is funny. What's funny? Oh, you mean the fact that I'm telling you what's going on with your life and your and your destiny? That? That's funny? Right. You're right. That's funny. You mean you're, the fact that you're getting a badass reading? That's funny? Oh, yeah. That's funny. That's funny. Definitely funny. Is this breakup permanent for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Is it permanent? Is this breakup permanent? Clarity and truth only, please. Is this is this breakup permanent? Is this breakup permanent? Is this breakup permanent? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the High Priestess, and the Two of Wands—they're—they're they're thinking about making a decision here. Is this breakup permanent? They're out, man. They're out in the cold. Who are they out in the cold with? They're out in the cold with you. They miss your ass. They're using their intuition. They're—they're they're starting to come to terms. They're starting to come to terms with what? What's up here? They miss your ass. They miss you guys. More information, please. Is this breakup permanent? Is this breakup permanent? Four of Pentacles, reverse, eight of Cups. Yeah, they're letting something go. Page of Cups reversed. I see that as them letting something else go. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a lot of cards here. This is too many cards. This is way too many cards. Actually, hold on a second. Remember that Queen of Pentacles?
So this is actually a lot of cards that came out. But what I'm so this is interesting. So the first three cards kind of t talked about you guys. But then what I'm seeing down here is actually talking about what's going on with the other situation. If there is another situation. And I feel like there could be something going on with someone else. Okay. It shows me that they're letting something go. They don't want to make, they don't want to make amends here. Okay. There's no give and take in this situation. Okay. There's no give and take. See how somebody's getting coins and the other person isn't. Okay. Crumbs getting crumbs. They want to let this shit go. Look at this. What do we have here? We got a queen. We got a queen of pentacles reversed and a king of pentacles reversed. Does that look like a couple to you? I don't think so. I don't think so. This isn't going anywhere. So the question was answered in two different ways. You guys give out give out the uh, the, the email address and write it out write it out the way that needs how it's written out. Emily Halifax readings at gmail.com. We are on vacation. We are back from vacation on Tuesday, the 22nd. You guys put, put the email address in there, please. Um, also for consultations, put in orders. Keep, keep putting it in there throughout the reading. Would you please do me a favor? Um, I don't feel like, I don't feel like this is over. I really don't. I want to know what the two of wands is though. Can you tell me what the two of wands is? Can you tell me what the two of wands is? That's because you're not writing it correctly. Exactly. The way that she did it. Exactly. That's why I made you a moderator. Yeah, because Emily Halifax readings at gmail.com. If you want to get rid of a third party and like, or you want to fuck somebody up or you want to get back together with someone, orders at emilyhalifax.com. You can read my 250 testimonials. They're all handwritten. They're from people all over the world. There's nobody in the magic world that has them. Nobody. I mean, I hate to, I don't want to brag, but it's true. Orders at emilyhalifax.com. There's a reading email and then there's an orders email if you guys want to get a consultation. So one's for readings and one's for like consultations. What's this two of wands about making a choice? Thinking about making a choice. So really thinking about coming back towards you guys. They're, they're not doing it yet. But they're thinking about it, you guys. They're thinking about it. I don't feel that this is over. Plain and simple. So the answer to the question, is this break breakup permanent? No. So do they still want you back in your life? The answer is already, the answer is already, it's already answered. It's already answered. And they still want you back in your life. Let's go to the next deck because I still have three more decks for you guys. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, please. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio regarding their ex. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Dylan, honey, you have to you have to write it out the way that Nancy is doing it. You can't write it out as a link. You, you can't. Just it's not that hard. I know you're smart. You have to write it. Okay, well, I don't, I, it, it works when I do it. So make it into words. Show me what I need to know for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio regarding their ex, the most dominant energy card on the table, please. 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the most dominant energy. Please stay in my hands. It's letting you copy and paste. No shit. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their X. Dominant energy. On the table, please. Maybe Jillian can send an email in or Dylan can or something and ask because I don't know what's going on or I'll have to have Bethany do it on Tuesday because I don't know what's up. There are links in my video description, you guys. Card on the table, please. Energy, energy. Would you do that for me, Dylan? Okay, we got three cards and... Are they trying to make me jealous? No. Are they planning to ask me out? No. Are they in love with me? Yes. Oh, shit. Will we be in union? Will we be in union in this lifetime? Yes. I wanted to read that one. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Their ex, the most dominant energy. Card on the table. Card on the table, please. The most dominant energy. Energy, energy, energy. Stay in my hands. These fucking cards. I don't really feel like, uh, you know what? I'm going to keep this one. Am I learning from this relationship? No. Hmm. That's an interesting card. Oh, really? Oh, my God. That does not surprise me. That does not surprise me. Does that affect YouTube, Dylan? Oh, my goodness. Do I need time alone to heal right now? Maybe. I think two people just disliked my video because I was at 111. Yeah, two people just liked my disliked it because I put in my learning from this relationship and it says no. I was at 111. You didn't like hearing that? Two people just liked the video. You don't like hearing that? You don't like hearing that you didn't learn from this relationship? Really? Why? Because you can't own up to the fact that maybe you're in denial? Is that what's up? Go watch a Candyland reading. Go or get into therapy. Figure out what your doubts are. Just like an Alcoholics Anonymous. Hi, I am an alcoholic. You think it takes two people to fuck up a relationship or only one? Everyone can learn from a relationship. Everyone. Everyone. Were they honest about their feelings? Yes. Were they honest about their feelings? Maybe. Is their ex still in the picture? Yes. There's still somebody in the picture, you guys. I'll clarify, am I learning from this relationship? It's really funny because when anybody thumbs my video down, everybody thumbs it up because they're like, oh, my God, I don't want to lose her. You guys should be thumbing this video up anyways. You guys are getting, like, solid advice right now. But I won't be disrespected, just like I won't do Leo. I refuse to do Leo. I won't do Leo. Bye, 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 Leo. I'm going to do the collective for fire signs, but Leo disrespected me twice, so I'm not doing Leo. Two more cards, please. The most dominant cards for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Are, are, are they sad that we broke up? No. This is interesting. Are they planning to ask me out? No. Are they planning to ask me out? Yes. Are they sad that we broke up? No. One more card. Jesus Christ. This is interesting. Are they trying to make me jealous? No. Are they trying to make me jealous? Yes. What's this? 
Do I know the person I will date next? Maybe. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay. All right. Let me. Okay. So we have, are they trying to make me jealous twice? Were they honest about their feelings? We have that twice. Do I know? I'm going to put this back. I don't. Do I need time alone to heal right now? Okay. So that's not so much about. Okay. So are they planning to ask me out? Um, I don't. I'm not going to do. Are they trying to make me jealous? Do you guys want to know about that? Do you guys want to know? Are they trying to make you jealous? Do you guys want to know about that? I feel like that's kind of irrelevant. Do you guys want to know if they're trying to make you jealous? I mean, to me, I don't feel like I need to clarify that. That doesn't sound really that interesting. Yes? No? Maybe so? Okay, because I have, are they in love with me? Which I was going to clarify. And I'm going to clarify, were they honest about their feelings? And then I was going to clarify... Either am I learning from this relationship or are they sad that we broke up? Are they trying to make me jealous? No, let's not do that. That's, that's stupid. Okay. Are they in love with me? Were they honest about their feelings? And then we're, which one of these do you guys want to do? Am I learning from this relationship? I feel like I'm going to do that one anyways. Are they sad that we broke up? I know what you guys are going to do. Are they sad? We I'm doing this one anyways. So there. So there, y'all. <laughs> are they in love with me? All right. Are they in love with me? Are they in love with me? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their ex, are they in love with me? It says yes. Are they in love with me? Yes. Here's the thing. So if you guys have been apart for a while, are they in love with me? So I'm going to do that one. I'm going to I'm going to do four of these. Are they in love with me? Are they honest about their feelings? Are they sad that we broke up? And am I learning from this relationship? Again, spoiled. Me being generous. Again. You guys also please leave a comment for this video as well. I'm trying to raise my algorithm or logistics or whatever the term is dylan what's the turn we need to get we need to get divine's information for discord dylan or jillian maybe you can get it thanks curious i appreciate it i put a lot of energy into this for you guys i'm here to like really look at this i can't make this up Queen of Cups and King of Cups. Who's that? It's your Pisces Cancer Scorpio right there. Who's that? Who's that? That's you. Who's that? Are they in love with me? It says yes. Clarity and truth only, please. The hangman reversed. They're seeing the light, that's for sure. Six of Cups wants to come out. Ooh, and the tower wants to come out too. I'm going to do a few more cards here. Very strong cards. The tower also tells me that there's been an awakening. Six of Wands. Yeah, they... The star reverse. Wow. With the judgment card. Wow. We have the hangman, the tower, the star, and judgment. These are some very, very strong cards. Are they in love with me? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ace of Wands. 
Give me one specific card on the tower, six of pentacles. One specific card on the hangman reversed. Temperance. One specific card on the six of cups reversed. All major arcanas, you guys. Eight of pentacles wanted to come out. Nine of swords. Yeah, man, they miss you. King of wands at the bottom of the deck. Are they still in love with me? Look at this shit. Six of cups reverse and the nine of swords. I don't know. What do you guys think? How do they look? Do they look pretty happy? Are they still in love with me? Do they look happy about it? Do you think they miss you? I think they do. I think they miss you big time. They're not with you. Um, the hangman and the temperance card. The hangman reversed. The hangman reversed. Okay, they're not, they're not, they're not stuck about this. Temperance. They want to balance this out. They're being patient about it. But they want to heal. Sagittarius energy here. This can also be about travel, traveling back to you. Even if you're in the same state or even the same city, shit, it might even be 20 minutes. The tower card with the six of pentacles. Look at this. And this is some major, major like reconstruction. With what? Giving. Giving and taking. Realizing that if there is not a give and a take, there ain't no chance for the two of you guys. Six of pentacles, six of wands. Oh my God, Jennifer Lopez. Waiting for tonight. Uh. You guys, I was listening to her on the radio the other day and I was like, that bitch couldn't sing. Remember that song when she was that song with Jarul, Ja Rule, or however it was. What was that song? I've been so many places. What was it called? I'm real the way I talk the way I, I think they digitalized her voice for that. Anyways, you guys, victory. This chick is like this this card, honestly, in this deck, I don't really like it. The star reverse and the ace of wands. I'm gonna clarify this ace of wands. I feel like this person, because with the star reverse, bottom of the deck, king of wands, man, they're they can even be lusting for you. Yeah, man, the judgment card. Oof, that strong energy. Look at that card. Look at this. This is something that they, man, they're thinking about this. Six of swords reversed. So they haven't came back yet, but this is something they're thinking about. What's this ace of wands? What's this ace of wands? What is this ace of wands, please? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their ex. Absolutely. Death, rebirth, making a decision. She's going surfing. She already knows she's going. She's got her wetsuit on. What's my point? A decision has been made. The point is this. When? Damian Lillard, one of my favorite NBA players. It's time. If you don't know what I'm talking about, he always goes crazy in a game when he knows like it's time to shoot like a bunch of three like three pointers and it's time to like take over the game. The analogy I'm making is that <laughs> does anybody know what I'm talking about? Whisper is a Raptors fan. When is the timing right? When is that wheel of fortune going to turn? Now, here's the thing. <sighs> Okay, I just spent a lot of time, you guys. I feel like I'm going to put am I learning from this relationship away. Are they sad that we broke up? You guys, I'm not, I'm not going to clarify this. I, I already know that they are. I already know that they are. Actually, hell no. I am going to do are we le are learning from this relationship. Were they honest about their feelings? Were they honest about their feelings? You know what? That question actually kind of confuses me because were they honest about their feelings regarding what? Were they honest about their feelings regarding being with you? This question is a little bit 
This question is a little bit open. What's up, Jillian? El pro problemo? Something wrong? Um, this question is, I'm going to see what comes out, but the thing is, is I feel like this question is really open. Were they honest about their feelings? Is everybody in line over there, Jillian? Well, you said don't worry. Now you got me worried. Well, I don't have my tablet. I actually need to do a couple of things up here. I'm probably going to go home and get my tablet because um, I don't have it. I don't have my tablet or my phone. I left it at home. Were they honest about their feelings, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Let's see what comes out because... Um, I have a feeling, actually, I don't know. I really don't know. Again, we've got the hangman reversed. When the same cards come out, you guys, ace of cups reversed. See, because th this could be like, were they honest about their feelings when, when they broke up with you? Like you guys, I don't like this question. When they were they honest about their feelings when the seven of cups reversed. You guys, I don't like this question. I don't like it. It's it's not specific. It's it's not it's not I don't know what it's I don't know what it's talking about. The Queen of Wands reversed. The Emperor. The Three of Cups. The Seven of Swords reversed. Well, Seven of Swords reversed tells me that they, this is somebody who's open. They're open. They have nothing to hide. So, I mean, that right there would tell me that they are being honest. Um, the Ace of Cups reversed, though, with the Seven of Cups reversed. What's this Ace of Cups reversed? Okay, the High Priestess, and then the Eight of Wands. One more on the Ace of Cups reversed. Okay, Knight of Wands reversed in the Chariot. Okay, so to me, this is when they wanted to probably, if they left you, you guys, if they left you. That's what I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting. Because... Seven of Cups reverse, please. Yep. Yep. Ten of Ten of Wands and the Death card. Yeah. What's this Three of Cups? Don't tell me I'm gonna. So I just cut the deck. I just cut it. Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is like no longer wanting to offer that strong stability. So what I'm getting with this is actually when there was probably a breakup. Probably a breakup. If they broke up with you. Hopefully this is resonating with some of you guys. Queen of Wands reversed, please. You guys have been coming up as the Queen of Wands, and they've been coming up as the King of Wands. Okay, so the Empress and the Nine of Swords. Okay, I'm going to look and see what this Empress is. Okay, they, they, they weren't happy about this. What is this Empress? Is this a woman, or is this... What is this Empress? Okay, Page of Swords reverse. I feel like this is something that they could have been keeping from you. One more card. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, they, okay, again, Seven of Swords reversed. So were they honest about their feelings? Again, I feel like, yeah. But it's like they wanted growth and they might not have been seeing it with you anymore because with the Page of Swords reversed and the Ten of Pentacles reversed, it's like they weren't seeing growth anymore. They weren't seeing that this relationship was going to be stable any longer. And they wanted growth. They wanted growth. The emperor. The emperor. Yeah, man. Yeah. They thought about this. They ended it. They walked away. If you left and then it was you, turn it around, pre pre. Turn it around. It's either or. Am I learning from this relationship? Am I learning from this relationship? Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to pull a couple of extra cards for this. I'm going to pull up a couple of extra cards and they are way at the back of the table. Watch me pull up. And, okay. Am I learning from this relationship? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Am I learning from this relationship? Thanks for all the thumbs up, you guys. Please continue to like this video if you haven't liked it. I really appreciate it. We're at an hour and 60 minutes. This reading will probably go about two hours from where I am right now. I still have two more decks. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be awake for that long, but um, it'll probably go that long because that's how much more information I have to give you. Am I learning from this relationship, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, are they are they learning from this relationship that, that they had with their ex? Okay, interesting. Freedom reversed and loneliness reversed. So perhaps you felt that this is interesting. So some of you may not be feeling as lonely as you thought you were going to, but perhaps the freedom that you have with not having someone there, like for example, you know, you don't, maybe if you were living with this person, you know, you don't have them in your house anymore or freedom, meaning you can date or whatever. Um, perhaps that's not what you wanted. Perhaps you're realizing like, uh, this is, this is not what I expected. This is not what I wanted. I don't like this. I'll trade this back in. This is not really, so am I learning from this relationship? That's, that's, it, it's not really, this is more of like things that I'm picking up from you guys. Are they learning from this relationship? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio regarding their ex, the most dominant energy, please. Okay, this is interesting. Failure with doubt reversed. Okay, I like this. So I feel like a lot of you guys are not having doubts that you failed this relationship. I feel like a lot of you are feeling like this other person played a big role in this relationship going to shit. And if you have it, then you need to. You're not feeling so if if this was up if this was upright, then I would say, okay, these people are feeling extremely doubtful that they like completely screwed this up. But I'm not getting that. I'm getting that you realized again, it takes two to tango. They played as much of a role in this as you did. Awesome. I love it. It takes two people. Just leave, leave, leave me a comment, pre-pre. That, pre -pre, that's, what, that's what I appreciate more than anything. 
What else? Pisces, Cancer, Scorp Scorpio. What have they learned from this relationship, please? The most dominant energy card on the table. Okay. I love this. Blame and perseverance. Okay. Whew, 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 this is heavy energy. I feel it all over myself. This is interesting. No, it's midnight. I'm not doing air signs tonight, but I am doing air signs next. I'll see about doing them tomorrow if, I, if I'm feeling up to it. Okay, blame, perseverance. Any blame that you may have regarding this, it's not stopping you from moving forward. And I love that. It is very normal to have some blame for a relationship. So the fact that you, so this failure card with the doubt reverse, love it, love it. So blame, I accept responsibility for my well-being. I kind of take that card with a grain of salt. But again, it takes two to tango. You guys did your part in this, right? There were things that you did that were not correct. Just like, exactly, Jasmine just said it. Yeah, I take blame for my part. But has that stopped Jasmine from persevering forward in her life? Hopefully not. Hopefully she's continuing to move on, get out of bed every day, brush her damn teeth, and move forward. Regardless of COVID. Doing the best that we can, right? That's what I'm seeing with you guys. I'm actually not even going to pull cards on this. I'm going to pull just a couple of more. A couple of more, please. A couple of more. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Are they learning from this relationship? Are they learning? Are they learning from this relationship? Okay. All right. So this is something that that may that this this kind of bothers me a little bit. Okay. This doesn't surprise me. If this is truly your person, this doesn't surprise me. Purpose reversed and abundance reversed. All right. So listen up. This person probably makes you feel whole. You may have felt this might not be for everyone, but just listen to how I see this. You may have felt that you've lost yourself a little bit and that your person is your other half and that feeling complete abundance, abundance doesn't have to mean money. You may feel that finding your purpose in life right now is very difficult because you've lost your other half and you're not quite knowing what to do with yourself. Not that you're not persevering in life, but that your purpose is not completely filled. And I know what you guys are going through because I'm a human being and I get it. I always tell people, I help all of you guys, but did you guys ever think that maybe I know what you're going through? You guys think I don't have an ex? I have an ex. So... Having complete abundance, whether it's money or a feeling of, again, a feeling of feeling whole. Without your person, you may have felt that you've lost yourself a little bit. If you haven't, great, awesome. But I'm feeling this for some of you, okay? Okay. I'm feeling it for some of you. If that's not true, great. Awesome. Let's get two more. Two more. I love it. Perseverance and guilt. Okay. Okay, this can go a lot of different ways.
I see this so many different ways. Okay, you guys are persevering forward. Guilt. Okay. This can be guilt about what you did in the relationship that could have screwed it up. This could be guilt that you may be getting involved with someone else and perhaps ruining chances with getting back with your other person. This could be guilt. Um, God, I see this so many different ways. This is about this is about wanting to change the past, you guys. This is this is the woulda, coulda, shoulda. If only I. And it's funny because perseverance is here. So it's like I'm persevering forward, but if only I would have, could have, should have. I maybe, maybe I wouldn't have failed in this relationship. But remember, we saw doubt reverse, but this card still came out. And that is like so common. What I'm seeing in these cards is that you guys have learned way more than you haven't. So this card is bullshit. You guys have learned. But I'm picking up on some of the idiosyncrasies. Is that the right word? Um, and by the way, all of these feelings you're feeling, this is like human shit. Okay. This is the last one. And this is, this is a big one. Growth and trust reversed. You guys growing but having a hard time trusting this process. Again, I feel that this has to do, if you are still holding on so tightly to this other person and wondering if you, if you can't move on, like, I see this intuitively. It's, uh, let me, let me get this out. Okay. Um, okay. I accept. Yeah. What the card says, it's not that it's bullshit, but it's not, it's not. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Okay. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. I don't, I don't like what the cards say. Not that I don't like them, but that's not, that's not how I would uh, explain them to you. Um, I get a very determined energy from, from all of you guys, which is interesting because water signs aren't, I wouldn't say you're not determined, but you guys are more sensitive. You're more romantic. You're sensitive. You're intuitive. You're, you're psychic. You guys can develop your psychic abilities, specifically Scorpios. I don't know if you guys know that or not. My moon is in Scorpio. Scorpios can be very psychic. Did you guys know that? Pisces can be very intuitive. Um, don't allow this lapse, this lapse in time to keep you from persevering and growing because you feel that your other half is without you. What I'm continuing to see, uh -huh. yeah, cancers can be emotional wrecks. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do, I actually, I really need to keep moving because we're in an hour and 30 minutes. I have a feeling this is going to be one of my longer readings. I do feel like you guys have learned from this. And just to go over this, so we had freedom reversed, perseverance, growth, blame, failure. But you guys, those clarified clarified well and we had purpose reversed so i feel like i feel like you guys have definitely learned from this you guys i turned the heat down really low give me one second to turn it back up because it's getting very chilly in here
guys. I'm going to nuke this tea. Give me 90 seconds, please. One of the reasons I may be chilly is because I took my socks off. Uh, I'm just nuking that, that tea really quick, you guys. You guys, is this resonating with you? Is this reading resonating? I really hope that it is. Uh, I have two more decks for you guys. X deck number three and X deck number four. Four. I'm also going to pull some, some of these untold truths of the heart oracle and i got a brand new deck called the secrets of the lover's journey oracle i'm going to pull some of those for you too let me get this tea Oh, sorry, I had to keep warming up. It wasn't getting hot. <clears throat> Put on a lip balm, you guys. Put it. Anyway, I hope this reading is resonating with you guys. I really do. Okay, the X deck number three. Number three, y'all. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, okay, so this deck is, um, I'll tell you right now, this deck is, is about is about you guys and like your your reaction your reaction um to okay yeah it's it's 
says that it's 66 degrees in here. Okay. I feel like I feel like maybe my heat doesn't work. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I should hey Julian, maybe I should call Howie. Should I call Howie and have him come up here? Julian Julian has a um has a um crush on Howie, my landlord. My pot smoking landlord who is like he's a trip, man. Jesus Christ, he's a trip. Okay, this card just came out and I'm gonna take it. Should I connect with my inner child more? Maybe. I'm gonna take a couple of these because you know what, you guys? You want to know why these are important? These are all about your relationships. Okay, I'm gonna take this too. Do I this came out for Taurus Cap Virgo? Do I realize that my triggers are my wounds? Yes. These are all about your relationships and how you, how he, he, he's probably home smoking a bowl. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their ex, and specifically how this is relating to their ex, please. Do I sabotage my relationships? No. Thumbs up. He is. He's definitely home smoking a bowl. 100%. Either that or like, shit, I don't know. I don't know what he does. He's, he's a very funny character. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Should I connect with my inner child more? No and maybe. We are going to clarify that card. This is interesting. I really hope this card comes out. Do I even really want to be with them? Yes. I hope that card comes out. Oh, shit. Do I take accountability for my actions? No. Mm. Don't worry. I have to clarify these cards. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, please. The most dominant energy card on the table I knew it I knew it do I even really want to be with them yes do I sabotage my relationships we have no and then we have maybe okay so I'm literally I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the cards so we have one two three four five six seven all right so I'm gonna do two more just, just, uh, just so you guys know, bottom of the deck, am I reactive in relationships? No. Okay, we're going to pull two more. Don't worry. Deck number four is a doozy. Okay, this came out. Am I trying to find love outside of myself? Yes. What is that? Am I trying to find love outside of myself? Shit, I don't even know what that means. Am I trying to find love outside of myself? Will I hear from them within a month? Maybe. One more card, please. The most dominant one. Okay. This came out three times. Should I connect with my inner child more? No, maybe, and yes. Do we respect ourselves or each other? Maybe. Um, do they need time alone to heal right now? No. Okay. So, okay. So this is what I'm going to clarify because these are the cards that came out the most. This came out three times. So you better believe I'm going to clarify this card. Do I sabotage my relationships? This came out twice. So I'm going to clarify this. And then we have five cards less. Five, excuse me. Five cards left. I feel like the card that may be the most kind of interesting is do I even really want to be with them? And it says yes. Um, I'll tell you guys what the cards are so you guys can kind of give me some interest some insight into what you want 
So we have, do they need time alone to heal right now? I don't know. Um, do I realize that my triggers are my wounds? We're already going to kind of look at this one. Am I trying to find love outside of myself? I don't even know what that card means. I'm putting that shit away. Do I take accountability for my actions? Do that one. Okay. So. What do you guys think about doing this one? I feel like this is one that we should do. Do I even really want to be with them? What do you guys think about this one? Because here's the thing. You guys may think one thing. And I feel like I'm going to pick up an energy of your subconscious. What do you guys think about doing that one? A comment would be helpful. Besides from the moderators. Or a thumbs up would be helpful too. How do you guys feel about do I even really want to be with them? Do you guys like that question? Do I even really want to be with them? It says yes. We can clarify that question. Does anybody not like that question? Okay, it looks like I'm getting some some yeses just so you guys know what the other one we also have do i take accountability for my actions we have do they need time alone to heal right now me i think we should do that one because the other two i'm gonna do for you guys is should i connect with my inner child you guys spirit is screaming to you guys on this one it came out three times. So I'm actually going to pull oracles on this one. I'm going to do this one first. This is, I feel like this is a really important card. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I want to help you guys with this because this is like a really important card. This is like, this is like why I do readings right here. Cause like, this is, this is like really helping you guys get into like, your shit right here. This is like, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. All right. All right. What do I want to look? What do I want to use for this? All right. Let's use this deck. And I'm actually wondering if I should pull another Oracle for this, you guys. Definitely going to use this. And I'm actually wondering... If I should actually pull another oracle for this, you guys, because it's such a in-depth question. Just let me take a look for a minute. We're going to do wisdom. Should I connect with my inner child more? Let me, I'm going to pull a different deck for this, you guys. You know what? I know what I'm going to pull. This is such an intuitive. You're sleeping on my jacket and I can't get through here. Uh, I'm going to pull this one. This is a, this is such a, this is such a cool deck. I love this deck. It's really, it's really cool. Just a second guys. I want to make sure I have the right deck for you so I can help you in the best way possible. I'm actually going to pull um, three decks for this question, you guys. Because I feel like this is a really important question. Actually, fuck that. I'm about to pull. I'm pulling four decks. I 
I know it started to get late. I'm losing people. That's okay. Okay. We can actually use this for do I sabotage my relationships as well. Okay, so I've got four decks for this, you guys. And we're going to figure this out right now. All right. Should I connect with my inner child more? Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, please. Just take a minute. This is a really important question, you guys. <clears throat> Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Should they connect with their inner child more? We have yes, no, and maybe. I need clarity on this question, please. Clarity and truth only. The most intuitive answers from spirit. Please help me give them the most intuitive answers, please. The highest, the highest, highest intuitive answers. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Sorry, I'm really tuning into this question for you guys. Because I know about inner child and it, it can it can fuck you up going forward. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, should they connect with their inner child more, please? The most dominant energy. Card on the table, please. Should they connect with their inner child more, please? Dominant energy. Dominant energy, please. Dominant energy. Should they connect with their inner child more? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Dominant energy on the table. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. How teachable are you reversed? How teachable are you reversed? Bottom of the deck, sexuality reversed. That's really interesting. I see Cancer Scorpio. Should they connect with their inner child more? The most dominant energy, please. Card on the table. The most dominant energy, please. Should they connect with their inner child? Love and cycles. This is this is deep, you guys. This tells me that this goes back with this cycles card. That this goes back to a time, a time for you guys with this cycles card. Cycles is all about time. Just like the moon. You know how the moon goes through cycles? This is a heavy energy, you guys. Shit. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Um... Oh, man, right behind it, we have letting go. Woof. Um, and you want to know what's interesting? So how teachable, how, teachable are you, how teachable are you is the number nine, which is, you know, almost a 10. Love is a 10, which is, you know, coming to the end of something. And cycles is the number six. Six can be about children. It can also be about the home life. Should I connect with my inner child? Cycles. I'm going to pull some more from some other decks. This is an interesting deck, but... Okay, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I was wondering if I should pull those or not. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, please. 
Should I connect with my inner child more? The most dominant energy, please. The most dominant energy for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The most dominant energy for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Should they connect with their inner child more? Okay, this is interesting. Three witchy sisters, the power of three. Three witchy sisters, the power of three. Okay, there's something about three here. The number nine is at the top. This is talking about inner child. The power of three. Does that mean anything to any of you guys? The power of three. Three witchy sisters. This could be you, your person, and very obviously one person from the past that has affected you. The bottom of the deck, candy cane angel. It's time for a treat. Seven and three, that's a 10. That tells me, so it was always me and my two brothers. So candy cane angel, it's time for a treat. This is like saying that all of the shit that you've been through, it's like it's time for you to have a reward. It's like you've went through what you need to go through. And now you need to get to that point where you are able to, to, reap, to reap, reap what you've sowed. Spicy Cancer Scorpio. Spicy Cancer Scorpio. Spicy Cancer Scorpio. Okay. Autumn is my last chance. Please don't lose hope. Are we in autumn right now? The winter solstice is coming up. This is very direct energy. So this is about timing. So if you felt like in the past, Again, that number six, it's about children. If you felt like things didn't come in time for you, that you weren't going to get it, like if a promise was made to you and then it was broken, don't feel like, okay, well, I'm not going to get this because it didn't come in time. I think as kids, we experience that a lot, whether it's with parents or friends. This is a very straightforward card. Autumn is my last chance. Please don't lose hope. You're waiting on your person. We're almost to the end of autumn. The, the equinox is in like, Wait a minute. It's tomorrow because it's Monday. It's tomorrow. Fairy of the green world. The natural world needs you. Fairy of the green world. The natural world needs you. Okay. Four and four. Okay, those two cards are about stability. So, this is an interesting deck. I don't use it very often, but I felt drawn to use it for you guys. I feel like you guys, this is, you guys, this is an, this is kind of a tough question. 
I almost feel like I need to, I need to move past it, not move past it, but I feel like I, I need to. I think here's the message. The fact that yes, no, and maybe came out. Should I connect with my inner child more? I feel that it's affecting your relationships. Okay. Yeah, things things all of a sudden got deep. I I, I feel it all over my head. It's actually it's actually um, taking some of my energy away, and that's why I feel like I actually kind of need to steer away from this question because I'm afraid it's it's going to it's it's going to uh, deplete everything I have. <laughs> Um, because I can, I can feel what perhaps some of you guys have been through. Here's, here's, here's the final, here's the final advice. Because I, I, I have my own, I have my own demons. Don't, don't, if you guys have been in therapy or whatever it is, just recognize patterns that cycles card came out. Don't feel like what happened to you as a child is going to happen in your relationship. The other thing is that we are attracted to what we know. So for example, let's say you grew up with an alcoholic father. You might be attracted to an alcoholic Let's say you grew up in a family with domestic abuse. You may be attracted to someone who abuses you. And you think it's okay. Because you saw that as a child. I'm just giving you two examples right now. Okay, your father was a drug addict. You may be attracted to someone who has a drug problem and you think you can fix that person. We can't fix anyone. They can only fix themselves. So just take this question with a grain of salt. And I just want you guys to know, I know all about this. I'm no different than you guys. Okay. Um, I feel like I need to go on to X deck number four because of timing. And this is getting really heavy. And X deck number four is... Is a little bit more lighthearted. <laughs> So let's go to X deck number four. You guys are probably going to be my longest collective reading. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, X deck number four, please. The most dominant energy. Whew. X deck number four, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the most dominant energy, please. Show me the cards. X deck number four. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the most dominant energy, please. What is it? The most dominant, <clears throat> the most dominant energy. Did they block me or think about it? No. Were some of you guys blocked? I'm sure some of you were. That's normal. Did they even know what they want? Do, oh, do they even know what they want? Yes.
Are they with or looking for a rebound? Maybe. Yeah, that's probably their rebound. I see Cancer Scorpio, the most dominant energy. Are they checking for my messages? No. I see Cancer Scorpio, the most dominant energy regarding their ex right now. <laughs> Did they delete me or think about it? Yes. Did they delete me or think about it? Okay, so think about it. Okay, so this is funny. Bottom of the deck. Do they even know what they want? No. Do they even know what they want? Yes. I see Cancer Scorpio. Their X, the most dominant energy. Okay, so this came out. This, this was at the bottom of the deck and it said yes. And now it's came out as a maybe. Are others interested in me right now? Maybe. Look at this. This came out as a maybe. Are they with or looking for a rebound? Yes. That's probably who they're with. Because I saw that that relationship was going to shit. Three more cards, please. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Their ex. Their ex, please. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Are they still very single? No. Do I expect my partners to be perfect? <laughs> Do I expect my partners to be perfect? Yes. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Okay. This is funny because this was at the bottom of the deck. Are they trying to forget about me? No. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Could I communicate more lovingly? Maybe. One more card. Okay, this is an in interesting card. Ah, ah, same. Look at this. Could I communicate more lovingly? Yes. This is an interesting card. Do they try to be where I will be? Yes. That's interesting. Do they try to be where I will be? So, like, obviously, like, if they're in your town, if you have, like, a spot that you go to, do they, do they try to be where, where you will be? Okay. Okay. I'm going to clarify three of these cards. And in fact, I might, I might only clarify two of you guys because I'm going to do like, fi like final advice for you guys. So, okay. They are literally all different. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. This is a card that I feel like we should clarify. Do they even know what they want? Yes. Yes. Do they block me or think about it? Okay. How, okay, here's the question. How many of you people are in the same city or the same vicinity of your person? Because if you are, I can do, do they try to be where I will be? I need, I need an, I need an idea on that. I need at least 10 to 15 people to make a comment, you guys. How many of you are in the same vicinity of your person? So if it's long distance, you guys don't, don't say anything. How many people, because the question is, do they try to be where I will be? 
If, if you are, then I'll clarify that question. So 10 miles away, that would be a yes. Okay, 15 minutes away, that's a yes. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Okay, we have four. Okay, I need I need at least ten. Okay, five, six, seven. You guys, there's eighty five people in here. It's getting really late. Can 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 is can somebody make a comment, please? It's getting really late. I'm losing energy. Yeah, you guys, please like this video because it's getting late and honestly, I'm, I'm losing energy, but I'm still doing this reading for you guys. And I'd appreciate it if you would answer the question so I know if I should clarify it for you guys. The other... Okay, so I'll do, do they try to be where you are? The other question is, do you, do you want to know? Um, okay, so I'll do that one. Unless you guys want to know, are others interested in me right now? Do you guys want to know that one? Instead, are others interested in me? Jasmine said, eh. <laughs> Does anybody want to know if others are interested in me? We have a maybe on that one. Clarify that card. Alyssa said, no. Should we stick with the X? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. We've got six yeses on that one. If I get 10, seven, eight, if I get two more, I'm going to do that one. Okay, it looks like no, no, okay, I don't have 10. Okay, so I will do, do they try to be where I will be? And do they, do they even know what they want? Okay. Perfect. I think these are good questions. Do they try to be where I will be? So obviously this is only going to be for people that live in the same vicinity. If they're long distance, then they might have to take a plane. Okay, you guys, Divine, can somebody put the email and write it so that they can see it? Write the email so they can see it. Jillian, do it, please. If somebody's asking for the email, you guys, it's Emily Halifax readings at gmail.com. Okay. This card just came out. I feel like, okay. Do they try to be where I'll be? Yes. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their ex. Do they try to be where they will be? The card says yes. Do they try to be where they will be if they live in the same city? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their ex. Do they try to be where they will be? Four of swords, three of wands reversed. So this is interesting. So again, you guys, this king of wands, he doesn't stop coming up. 
So, okay. This is, this is interesting. So the four of swords. So it's like, they think about this. They think about like where you would be. It's on their mind. With the three of wands reversed, it's like, again, it's like, it's like a decision that they've made, but it's, it's like, they don't know if it's really going to happen, but it's, it's, do I feel like they, they try to be there at times? I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all. No. This is something that they think about heavily. Without a doubt. I can't make this up. You know I know how to pop cards, right? I said clarify the two of cups, the lovers. Yes. Dripping, and I don't know what it is. Okay, something's dripping over there, and I don't know what it is. Okay, do they even know what they want? Okay, this is an interesting one because. A lot of people are in relationships and they, they don't know what they want. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, please. Do they even know what they want? Their ex, do they even know what they want, please? The card says yes. Do they even know what they want, please? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Their ex, do they even know what they want? I see Cancer Scorpio. Do they even know what they want, please? Card says yes. Yeah, so they don't want any conflict. They don't want any conflict and they want to let go of past self-sabotage. Uh, five of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they they want they want stability. They want they want a brand new beginning with the tenant with sorry with the world. Capricorn energy here. The 5 of swords, the 6 of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles reversed. They want stability. They want major stability. Okay? Absolutely. I feel like they don't have that right now with whoever it is that they're with. I I saw them I saw them with someone they're either with someone and the relationship is going to end or they are not with someone. That's what I'm seeing. So if they're in a relationship with someone, I see that it's a dead end relationship and it's going to come to an end. It was really prominent in the cards. Very prominent. I don't see that it's turning into marriage or any shit like that. No. No. Um, yeah, the eight of wands. Yeah, they want to, they want to move this forward. They want to move this forward. They want to move this forward and manifest something. They've made a decision about this. They've made a decision about this, but it's really just a matter of when they're going to be able to, I've seen, I've, we've seen this in the cards, probably, 
We saw this when I first started pulling cards and I was pulling from this deck. We saw the emperor reversed. So mm. whatever, whatever is holding them up right now, see, they've got to let go of something. They've got to let go of something. <sighs> see, they're still holding on to you. This is so interesting to see the strength card and the four of pentacles reversed. This person's still holding on to you. Just for the record, at two hours and 15 minutes, don't forget to like this video, you guys. We're two hours and 15 minutes. This is a long-ass reading. Just for the record, this person, they're still holding on to you. They're still holding on to you. They are. That's what I'm seeing. That is what I'm seeing. So I'm going to give you guys some final advice now before we end. Please do like this video, you guys, if you haven't liked it. I've spent a long, long time with you. It's 1 a.m. I mean, thank you for staying, for staying awake with me. But I've really put a lot into this for you guys. And I would appreciate it if you would like my video. It's funny because if you guys follow me, um, Dylan and Divine and all my other people, they'll tell you, I never ask anybody to like any of my other videos. Do I, you guys? I never ask. I never, other videos, I never ask. I, I'm, I'm never like, the only videos that I'm always just like, please like my video is, is my reading videos. Um, Nancy knows. Because those are the videos that I really put my heart and my soul into. All right, let's see. Let's get some advice for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, sorry, guys, my nose is running. Let's use this deck. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna use a couple of decks. So we're gonna get some um, advice. Some advice for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, we're going to move over to a device now. Um, Jillian, you know how I feel about you. Nancy, I love you. N Nancy's like, Nancy's on like spiritual steroids. She don't play. And Divine joined the moderator group. I, I, Divine, I didn't even ask you if you wanted to join. You're just like always in here, no matter what sign you are. So I was like, I'm going to make her a moderator because it doesn't matter what sign she is. She's always in here. So what's the love energy right now for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio regarding their ex? I need to be. I don't see you in here that much, Jazzy Faye. If I do, I don't see you talking. What is the love energy right now, please? Please show it to me. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio regarding their ex. Trust. This this little uh, line at the bottom of the card is actually fitting this. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I like it. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, please. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, regarding their ex. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. You know what? I love this. Deception reversed. You want to know why I like this? A couple of reasons. Number one, it tells me that the person is not bullshitting about their feelings. Number one. They're aware of their feelings. And number two, when they do come around, they're not going to be a lying sack of shit. Excuse my language. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. So forgiving and learning. Trust, forgiving, and learning. So these are things. Thanks, Chronic Modern. <laughs> shit. Should we make him a moderator? He's he's coming up as chronic moderator. 
So you guys, so I'm going to pull a few more, but we haven't gotten anything on love yet. We've gotten things on rebuilding. But that's what this is about, right? Because this is your ex. So we haven't gotten like, you know, honeymoon and wedding. Because you want to know what? That sh that's not like practical. What's practical is rebuilding. Whoa. Pisces Cancer Scorpio, please. By the way, I like the water signs. Pisces Cancer Scorpio, please, regarding their ex. The love energy. Okay, this, this came out reversed, but I'm not taking it reversed. Healing family issues. Again, notice how it's another card that is... It's not like all lovey. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Dude, listen to that. Bottom of the deck, this was upright. Passion. This person still has it for you, you guys. One more card. Oh, my God. This just fell, and I'm and it fell upright. I'm gonna tell you right now. When my cards fall, it means something. New life, new life just fell on the ground. That means something. I'm gonna keep this card to the side and clarify it. Why did that card fall? Why did that card fall? I, you, why did that card fall? I told you guys when my cards, my cards, I don't want to sound, sorry, I've got to use the word gay. Please don't get mad that I say this. I don't want to sound gay, but like my, I'm from the nineties. Okay. So that word is just like silly, silly, you know, but that there's a meaning behind that. Like it's, it's. It's like, Matt, it's magical. That's what I wanted to say to you. And that's why I said, I don't want to sound gay. Like it's, it's magical. It's a magical moment. One more card, please, for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let me get a shuffle in here. The most dominant card that needs to be shown, please. Read what Dylan said. You want to know what? I think he's being honest. <laughs> I think he's being honest. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, please. Okay. So this came out reversed, and I think this is because you guys might be feeling like this. It says, stay optimistic about your love life. It's reversed. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of going like this because I'm getting a little tired. I'm not going to lie. Stay optimistic about your love life. Um, don't lose faith, you guys. Bottom of the deck very soon you know how i take very soon sooner than later so the way that i work with timing is seasons seasons are three months and they're 90 days that relationship that i saw I bet you it doesn't last. I bet.
bet you it doesn't last more than a season. My birthday is March 20th, the first day of spring. The spring equinox. March 20th. I bet you that relationship is completely fucked by March 20th. I really do. Now, are they coming back by March 20th? Maybe. But I bet you they're out of that relationship by March 20th. If that's one of the things that's holding them back. I want to know about this new life card. You guys, you are definitely my longest reading. I'm going to pull... Um, What's the advice for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, please? I'm going to pull one more. Besides this new life card that's like an awesome card. What's the advice for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, please? Okay. Yang reversed and round and round. Okay. So Yang is about masculine energy. It's also about letting the man lead. If it's not a man and it's a woman, that's the yin card. Most of my most of my viewers are women. I do have I do have male viewers, but most of them are women. So one person said, "Should I contact him?" I wouldn't suggest it. Okay, just from seeing that yang card. Also, round and round is indicative of like, you don't want to repeat the same patterns, okay? Round and round is like the same, it's like same song, same song, old, new song, same song, old tune, or what's that saying? Old song, same tune. You, 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 there you go. Lunar love, merry go around. Exactly. We don't want to repeat it. We don't want to repeat it. We want something new. What's the advice for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio regarding their ex? What's the advice for Pisces, or Pisces Cancer, Scorpio regarding their ex? Nature and personal growth. I've been seeing this card so much. You guys need to get out. You guys might laugh. Put your feet in Mother Earth. Get out. Get out and heal for personal growth. I'm serious. Hike, walk, run. Get outside. Help, let that help heal you. I'm serious. I've been seeing that card for people for months now in regards to being outside. There's something about being outside. We're so cooped up right now in our house because of COVID. Advice for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Whoa. That's not the right energy. Card on the table, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, self-discipline. Okay, bottom of the deck, music reverse, self-discipline. Okay, um, you guys can take this as it resonates. Music reversed. Okay, self-discipline. Um, music reversed. Um, hmm. If you guys are, if there's a certain, hmm, self-discipline with music reversed. If there's something that you guys listen to, because here's the thing, four and one is a five and three and two is a five. Both of those are about change. Okay, this could, this could have something to do with 
maybe reminiscing. Like if you guys had like a certain song together, it's reversed. That's like, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Because it's reversed. So self-discipline. If there's any, if there's any sort of reminiscing that you guys have when it comes to music, like certain songs specifically, because that three and two is about a five. Sorry, three and two is a five. So it's about a change. So this self-discipline card is, I can't make this up. I, well, okay. Okay. First, okay. First of all, first of all, okay. Nature. What did I say about physical activity? And what did I just say about change? Literally the two things that I talked about are exactly what's behind that card. Change is reversed and physical activity. That's your nature card right there. So I know that I'm picking up on the right energy. So take that as it resonates, you guys. I'm going to clarify new life and yang. Let's use this deck. New life, please. New life. What does this mean in regards to Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and their ex? New life. New life. Clarity. Clarity only. Clarity. Clarity. Clarity only. Clarity and insight only for this new life card, please. You guys, this is a long ass reading. Jesus Christ. This is a long ass reading. You guys, please leave a comment for this reading. I really want to know what you guys felt about it. New life, please, for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. New life. Page of Pentacles. Justice. Three of Swords. Ten of Pentacles with the King of Wands with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That King of Wands has came out over and over and over. Whoa. Nine of Swords reversed with the Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay. This person, Four of Pentacles, this person's still holding on to you, man. I'm telling you. Um... Not to skip forward, but I'll tell you right now, this person wants stability with you. They want stability with you. The Ten of Pentacles and the King of Wands. They do. They absolutely do. So the King, the King of Wands has been coming out for you guys. This person has passion for you. They have passion. And the other thing about the King of Wands that I like is that the King of Wands takes action. So I said passion and action. Those, those, those rhyme. Let's not get confused. They have passion for you and they take action. <laughs> Let's not get confused. Again, the nine of swords reversed came out. They're losing, they're losing anxiety about this. They're losing anxiety about reaching out towards you. This is, this is clarifying new life. The five of pentacles reversed. If you were ghosted by this person, I feel like that's that's going to come to an end. Eventually, you're, they're going to come out. You're going to come out of the cold with this person. They want to make right on this. Okay, I feel like that's ultimately what's going to happen. The I, I actually went. I went in. A, I went in the opposite order here, but that's okay. The Page of Pentacles with Justice and the Three of Swords. They know that hurt was caused here. They're very aware of it. They're not stupid. This could also be indicative of, of the third party, but I feel like it's more about the hurt that was caused, the hurt and the pain that was caused. They know that some fairness needs to happen and some balance, balance needs to be brought to this relationship. And if it's not brought to this relationship, this Ten of Pentacles is not going to happen. It ain't going to happen. If this is not fixed, if this is not fixed, this Three of Swords is not going to be repaired. The page of pentacles is interesting to come out first because the page of pentacles, in my opinion, I see it a couple different ways. First of all, I see it as somebody who is loyal to you. I also see it as someone who is, is actually a friend. 
So I'd like to see the King of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles. But the other thing that I told you guys, I saw this earlier in the reading. The Page of Pentacles is somebody who wants to come towards you and do things differently than last time. Remember round and round? Okay, well, remember how this shit didn't work? Look what's under round and round. Not for you. Now, this didn't come out. But if you round and round, if, if this is what you guys are going to do, this is what's going to end up happening. Not for you. Because it ain't going to work. Now that card didn't come out, but it it's 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 explaining the story. Do you guys see? But this is what I see that this person ultimately wants. Just for the record, at two hours and 36 minutes, this is not a bad reading. It's not. Okay, let's clarify the Yang card reverse. By the way, this is the very first card in the Wisdom Oracle. It's card number one. This card is about, it's a masculine energy card. It's also about allowing the man to take charge. Again, you can change it if it's a woman. It's reversed. So I'm kind of curious why it's reversed. Why is this Yang card reversed? Why is this Yang card here for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for their advice, please? Why is this Yang card here, please? What does this card mean, please? World wanted to come out. Ace of I'm taking that. Ace of Pentacles wanted to. That's yeah. Ace of Pentacles. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Ace of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. This person. Let me tell you something right now. This person is serious. This person is serious, but they do not want drama. They do not want drama. If there's drama, goodbye. Yes, they jump out. I know how to pop cards. I'm one of the few readers on YouTube that knows how to pop cards. The magician. Ten of swords reverse. They're aware of this. They're aware. They're not stupid. They're very aware. The magician. A couple more cards. The tower wanted to come out. The lovers can't make this up. King of Cups can't make this up. Oh my God, we're finishing this reading in an amazing way. The three, the three of wands. What's the three of wands? What's the three of wands? I cannot make this up. The three of wands is the king of wands who doesn't stop coming out. And the nine of swords reversed again. Okay, you guys need to thumb this video up. You guys have just gotten an amazing reading from somebody who knows how to read cards. Look at this right here. There's your King of Cups. He came up at the very end of the reading with the lovers. You guys just got a badass motherfucking reading. I'll tell you that right now. That's your final advice. That This is what your person wants. The Ace of Cups, the King of Pentacles, Sorry, the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Magician. This is somebody that wants to. This is this is somebody who wants to manifest this. The lovers with the you guys. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand that three kings came up? Are you seeing this? One, two, three. Are you seeing these three kings here? Can you can y'all count? I know you can. But are you understanding that of all of these cards in the deck, three kings came out? Because that's how, that's what they're, that's, that's what they're wanting to be. The only king that didn't come out is the king of swords. We don't need his ass. Three kings came out. And this is, a, and this card is about a masculine energy. That sure as fuck clarified the card. 
If you guys want a private reading, it's emilyhalifaxreadings at gmail.com. The overall energy is the nine of swords reverse. This has came up over and over and over. They're letting go. There's yeah, there's the world card right there. This is this is wanting to start. This is wanting to start something new. That's Capricorn energy. You guys, please, please leave a comment for this video. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I'm 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 looking to see how people are are treating the readings that I'm doing to see if I'm gonna do these for January because I'm putting a lot of time into them. And, um, and then I'm going to decide if I'm going to do them for the following months. Um, so in order to, to get me up, to raise my, my analytics, people have to like the video and they have to comment on the video. That's the only way people are going to really find me. So please take a moment to comment on the video. It doesn't take very long. I assure you, you just got some, some very good advice. The energy stayed the same throughout the entire reading. This was a better reading than the earth signs. I'll tell you that right now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. I really do. Thanks for being with me tonight. Moderators, you know how I feel about you. Uh, Jillian, feel, feel free to discord me. My tablet's at home. I forgot it. Um, and that's it, you guys. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for staying up. It's 1.30 in the morning. Okay, you guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. You guys have a nice evening. I really hope this was helpful. You guys take care. Good night.